So he broke his fast here, huh? Not Mahavira, right. The next moment, Chandana's shekels broke into pieces. Divine drums and all that singing everywhere from a divine dream. Flowers, fragrant water and perfumes shower from the sky and the courtyard of Dannava was filled with heaps of gems, jewelry, <laughs> diamonds, and stuff. Wow, that should happen to us here. Mm. <laughs> Actually, sometimes you, you, you smell some fragrance inside our hall or when you meditate or when master nearby, something like that. It is because heaven also shower us with perfume. It's just not many people can smell it. Not everybody in the crowd smells this. Some people have wisdom eye open, then can smell it and then recount it for us. Just like sometimes the Buddha talks and the, uh, gives speech, lecture, and then many of the um, heavenly beings came and listened to him and sit with people. But not many people see that. Anand, even though he is so... Uh, so a verse in memory, but he don't often see this. He have to listen to other people, you know, tell him the experience. That's why in the book of the Buddha Sutra, I always say, first I have heard. He heard only, <laughs> and then he recorded. You see, not first I have seen in my vision, I have heard inside, no. Not until after the Buddha, Nirvana, that uh, Ananda become enlightened. <laughs> Maybe that was the first time he see the light inside or hear the sound inside. Yeah, that's the thing. So sometimes you smell the sandalwood, uh, perfume or anything like that, the flower. That is because the heavenly beings shower on us. But not everybody smell that. One of your sister, she passed away already from Hualien. Uh, actually, she should have passed away a long time ago. <laughs> but after Guan Yin Method, she keep living on <laughs> for decades. <laughs> uh, you know, blood cancer, yeah. But she keep living on for decades, yeah. She's a little skinny, though, yeah. And she's one of the most devoted Taiwanese disciples that I know. She meditates a lot, and sometimes she meditates, and uh, like uh, uh, Kristigawa Buddha would come and give her something, and it still stay there even after she wakes up. You know, give her a round jewel, and it's still in her hand when she uh, walk out of Samadhi. She says she has it. <laughs> For example, huh? Mm. Her beauty had magnified thousandfold even. She was already so beautiful. And now, after she has been harassed, punished, and tortured, all her karma, you know, past karma or, or this present karma, whatever she did or however the Maya arranged it, is falling away. So she become thousand times more beautiful. Believe that or not, she was already so beautiful. And plus she has offer this special meal to Lord Mahavira, to offer to a saint, enlightened saint, or not to enlightened saint even, with your pure heart. Yeah, you have merit, ah, oh, immense already. Yeah, not to talk about offering to Lord Mahavira, who is a super saint at that time already. So, of course, her merit is just you know, thousandfold more, so she became more beautiful, a thousand times more beautiful, maybe not thousand times more beautiful, I don't know how beauty can manifest thousandfold more, but it's just kind of saying that she became radiantly more beautiful than ever before, okay? And gods and goddesses adorn Chandana with beautiful garments and ornaments. Yeah. This resolution of the period of penance of Lord Mahavira Swami may be deemed as the first step of the, of the human endeavor for woman's liberation. Maybe he had to go through that so that the woman's uh, status will be more elevated 
in this world, not to talk about spiritual yet, yeah? So more liberated, more respected, more free, yeah? Because in old time, women cannot go out of the house. In, in some countries nowadays, still like that, cannot go out alone, yeah? People will look down upon you. You have to cover yourself or disguise yourself, or whatever, or go out with somebody or cannot go alone. You might be harassed or molested even, yes. So um, they think Lord Mahavira had to endure all this in order to help humans' uh, status to begin to uh, step into liberated kind of uh, society. Yeah. So, okay, that was the story. There was uh, another story, another ten dreams of Lord Mahavira next time, eh? Okay? Yeah. Next time we have uh, a terrible, terrible. Next, next story is very bad. I'm warning you. If you're scared, don't come next week in case I come out. <laughs> I will try to make my calendar longer so <laughs> you can bear it. Oh, terrible. Yeah. What do the humans all do to, to real practitioners? I have no idea. Terrifying. Okay, la. It's almost time for your dinner. <laughs> huh? <laughs> How come? How come my disciples and my dogs are the same? <laughs> I mean, in this respect, they never had enough of me. They're never tired. They never want to go away. I need a rest sometimes. I do. Well, they don't want to go. Sometimes they run back and forth. Uh, the attendant, the assistant came and get them. Sometimes they come back inside, back and forth, a wagging tail, and I say, go. <laughs> I have to be, you know, stern, like, go. <laughs> Otherwise, they don't want to go. They keep looking back and stay there. I say, we don't have all day, just go. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then uh, a few minutes after they eat and play and, and go out, and then come back again, like new. I never seen me for a hundred years, <laughs> and then don't want to go out again. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, la. Xie Fanny Ren Yuan. Thank you. I was telling them the problem in Kaohsiung that I cannot stay. I would have liked to and bring you there to have warm weather, sunshine every day, but I got sick, too sick, you know, really. Every time I cough, I almost like faint because it cough too long and too deep. Like my blood all run out, you know, and my body become empty and weak. Cannot continue to do that. So I said, even if the Maya arranged <laughs> that I go there, I get sick, I can avoid it. <laughs> I can cheat him and don't go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's just like there is a show on our TV about near death experience with uh, Kimberly Clark. She had a uh, near-death experience, and uh, during that time, she knew everything. She saw about her future, you know, that she will go where, study, and meet what husband, and married, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> she didn't want any of that. <laughs> she didn't want husband, nothing. So she didn't marry. <laughs> yeah. You can cheat. You can cheat destiny if you want to. If it's only for yourself, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can practice meditation and avoid it, or don't want it. And you know it intuitively, even if you don't see as clearly as Mr. Kimberly Clark, but you can have intuition, and you don't want that, and you can cheat. <laughs> yeah, meditate more, cover it up. <laughs> Except when you're a master, then it's difficult. Mm. Everything you do, you have to do it for others' sake. Just like Lord Mahavira has to start for five months and a half, almost, uh, in order to help women to be liberated. I mean, to start a period of woman liberation, you know, out of slavery, like the princess. It's just a symbol. She has been in shackle like that, and then Lord Mahavira has to come and eat from her offering. And then even just a coarse food like that, you know, it's not a real food even. Bran, you know, and rotten, uh, stale. So that uh, the woman 
in this world will begin a, a, an era of liberation. It, it doesn't happen immediately, but it did happen, you know, slowly, slowly. And nowadays, we have women presidents, women prime minister, women ministers, a lot, a lot. And uh, maybe president and, and prime minister is less, but ministers, <laughs> a lot, a lot. And women everywhere. Women, even driver, truck driver, women go to the moon, women go to space station, or oh, women go anywhere. Huh? Before, it's unheard of. Before, it's not possible. Women are locked, closed behind a wall, high wall, you know, don't go anywhere without accompaniment like a brother, sister, or parents, or friends. Hmm? And only now and then can go out. Uh, normally cannot go out of these walls. You stay within your parents' house, within four walls. You know, the wall in the house already, and the wall outside is fence. Many countries were like that before, in Vietnam, China, also like that. Before, they even uh, buy the feet of the woman to make them cripple so that they couldn't go far anywhere without help. Yeah, so wicked, this world. Long time, not too long ago, no, a few hundred years ago, they're buying a woman feet until they cripple, become small. And if your feet is big, you can't marry because you're not virtuous. You have to be crippled to be a virtuous woman. Oh, God, I cry when I see all that stuff. Luckily, we don't have this nowadays anymore. Yeah. You know, binding until the girl, you know, when they were small girl, they already begin biting it, and they cry and cry and cry, but the parents have to ignore them because that's a tradition at that time, a fashion. And if her feet are not small, bite it until crippled, small, you know, one of the feet like that, biting, biting until it becomes small and crippled, then she cannot be married out. And she's a bad girl, something like that. Oh my God, what wicked world we live in, anything, you know, not just hell, punish us or torture us. We torture each other here already. Or in Africa, the woman organ has to be mutilated, otherwise she's not a good girl and cannot marry. Really, when I read all that, I just could not bear. Not just torture animals, torture each other for no reason. And what for the girl have to be married off anyway? Huh? Can she not just live alone and be free? <laughs> yeah. And even blaming the girl, if not married, then she's not a good girl. For what? <laughs> it's a proof of nothing, you married or not. Right? Hmm? Okay, never mind. We're not gossiping anymore. You go eat, I go do something. <laughs> I don't know what. Just say, go out in the okay? Okay, why go to the ไอ้ได้กูไงไหว้กูทําสิโอเคเออไหว้กูเรนอ่าชีชื่อฮะใจชูฟังหรือเมนต้องจงไปเอาตรงสิอ่ะโอเคไม่ต้องจีมันเย
不是像喜马拉雅那个样子。Yeah, have to go. Yeah， 嗯，多看几眼啦。OK， 太冷了，冷了不要站太久。好好，你们好。对不起，今天不吃饭在那里 ，OK。要的话能便当，懂吗？啊 ，Thank you。OK， 要回去工作，我要回去工作了，工作很多 ，OK， 太多了。啊 ，Thank you， 辛苦。刚才在厨房啊，工作没有进去听哈、啊，啊，对不起，对不起，下站了啊，台湾人嘛，自己没关系了啊，随时可以看到下站 ，OK， 拜拜 ，Thank you。谢谢。